Hey Fashion Minions, it's already the end of February. I can't believe it, but then again, I've been so busy, it should be, you know, expected that a month would go by so fast. So I just wanted to talk about some beauty favorites really quick. Um, I have a lot, but not a lot, if that makes sense. Okay, so first off, I want to talk about this NARS. Um, this is my very first NARS purchase. It's still in the box because I am weird like that, I guess. Um, it's the Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And it comes in this cute little pouch. I'm gonna disassemble it to show you the packaging. So, as you can see, I've used it. It's already kind of dirty. Um, but there's the outside. And basically all it is is this white light reflecting uh, powder. kind of use it to set my powder, or my, my foundation. Um, it's in the color translucent crystal, so it's just, it's not really anything amazing, but it does make your skin look super smooth and polished. Um, I haven't actually tested it for light. It's supposed to be light reflecting, but I like it. It's definitely very, very nice and very chic and classic, all the setup that they have with it. So, um, along the line of powder, I've also been loving this Bare Minerals Concealer. Um, on days when I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I'll throw this all over my face with a big fluffy brush. Um, and it does a really good job at concealing and setting makeup. So I definitely have been loving that part of this month. Um, I got a hold of the Maybelline Master Highlight. Um, it's those mosaic looking blushes. Um, this is in the color Pink Rose, and it's pretty much what it, it's called. It's a really pretty pink blush, and it's highlighting. So it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it is very, very pretty. I'm very impressed with the pigmentation of these. So if you are on the fence about purchasing these, I definitely would recommend it because it's just really, really pretty, pretty blush. It looks so good on the skin. For nails this month, I've been loving my um, Zoya nail polish. I believe it came in my Ipsy bag. It's in the color Odette. I'm not wearing any nail polish today. I just took it off like two days ago. I've been airing out my nails. so. But I definitely have been wearing this all month. It's been such a pretty, pretty color. Um, I have two different mascaras that I've kind of been switching back and forth between. Um... This is a CoverGirl Bombshell Mascara. I do absolutely love this mascara. Um, it gives you awesome Valium, volume. Um, you can see the brush there. It looks like the CoverGirl Lash Blast line mascaras. That gives you a lot of volume on that side. That's number one. And then number two, on this side, kind of just a detailed kind of uh, bristle brush on the other end um, and that gives you a lot of length so for me that's just like the perfect eyelash is like full and long and it's super black I definitely love it the only bad downside to it um, it gets all over me I don't know if it's just the user or the product I just when I, every time I use it I get it all <laughs> over myself and I wind up like wiping off my eyeshadow trying to get off the mascara so eh, they could have made the brush a little smaller for my taste but maybe it's just me um, how I'm putting it on or something so that's the only downside to that and the second mascara that I've definitely been um, loving and switching back and forth between is the Smashbox Full Exposure this is a sample size I got this in my um, Birch box, but I absolutely love it. It gives you really good volume. It's really easy to use. Um, there's just a lot of good, good qualities about that, so I've definitely been loving it. For brows this month, um, I got the Instant Brow Pencil by Benefit. Um, I used some Birch box points and purchased this, so I don't know for sure how much these are in stores, um, but it's actually, for me, I feel like most eyebrow pencils are really 
stiff and waxy, which, you know, it helps hold the brows in place. But this one is really pigmented and creamy. So for me, I feel like this is good and bad because it's, it doesn't hold the eyelashes in place, but I usually top it off with like a clear mascara or an eyebrow gel. So for it to not be waxy is okay with me. Um, and I def definitely love the little spoolie on the other end of this. So I've been wearing this every day this month, so definitely love this one. Okay, and last but not least, um, my face has been so clear. I'm so in love with my skin right now. Um, I've just got off work, so I'm a little bit, you know, it's the end of the day. But um, it's, I really feel like it's t thanks to this product. It's the Michael Todd True Organic. I feel like I talked about this last month. If I did, I'm sorry. But it's the Blue Green um, Algae Antibacterial Toner. Um, it is just, I feel like it's just doing wonders for my skin. It's not drying because my skin tends to get dry, have dry patches. It's not drying. It gets my skin cleaned. It's organic. It has a lot of good ingredients in it. So I've definitely, definitely been loving this product this month. So that is what I have for this month's favorites. Um, it wasn't very long, but... What can you do when you're busy? You just don't have time to go exploring throughout your makeup line. So um, have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.